performance. How do all of these apps work? In short, quite well. Obviously streaming is much more consistent when using a wired connection to your router, but we were able to get surprisingly smooth HD playback over Wi-Fi, even in the relatively slow network environment. Now, that being said, if you want to really see what this box is capable of, you should plug it into your router, plug into a 4K, HDR ready TV and watch your favorite shows in all their ultra high res glory. Currently the Nvidia Shield supports Netflix, Amazon, Vudu and Google Play movies and TV in 4K UHD and all of them look excellent playing through the streaming device. We got a chance to watch House of Cards and Mad Dogs, both in 4K and, surprisingly, using Wi-Fi instead of an Ethernet cable. Also new this time around is the ability to cast in 4K, that is send UHD video streams from your mobile device to your Nvidia Shield. If 4K UHD video isn't your scene, Google has also updated the YouTube app on the Shield to support 360 degree video. On the audio side of things, Shield supports pass-through of 5.1 and 7.1 audio and delivers an excellent surround sound experience. It also supports Dolby Digital, AC3, Dolby Digital Plus, EAC3, DTS HD, DTS HDMA, Dolby True HD, Dolby Atmos, DTS X and DTS Core audio streams in pass-through mode. GE Force Now as a service has also been improved since we first saw it a few years back. Gameplay is smoother and it rarely, if ever, disconnects you. Here comes a caveat. Just as we've mentioned for both the Sling TV, PlayStation Now and, well, pretty much any streaming service or streaming video box review, your mileage will vary. You might buy the Shield expecting 4K playback out of the box only to take it home and find out that your 10 Mbps connection can't really handle UHD video all that well. It also requires having a 4K UHD TV, a given for most people, but you would be surprised how many times that's been the answer to a problem we've tried to troubleshoot for friends and family.